Everyone, welcome back to Femacy Lighthouse. Thank you so much for being here with me once more on my channel. To book a private one-on-one -on -one session with me, all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. I encourage everyone to join me at the Private Lighthouse on Instagram. The link for you to join will be found in the comment section. The moon is in Gemini today. Welcome to Libra season. Let's get started. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. Talk to me about energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. The Nine of Wands coming out there first. That is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Lovers. Why is somebody mad that they love you? They are mad at themselves because they can't forget they can't stop thinking about the memories, the history that you and them have, and it upsets them. Why is that? They're the nine of wands for the lovers. If it's not that, you're talking to somebody else and they know it, or they're feeling that there's another energy around and they don't like that. This person is very possessive and they say that you're possessive. No, they are. It's like they feel that you belong to them and they're upset because... They can't stop thinking about the history or it's like they can't have their way with you is what I'm getting. You're not letting this person have their way and it upsets them because you are what they really want. And they end up settling always for somebody that's just going to let them do whatever they want. And then that's boring to them. Like we were talking about yesterday. That's boring. And they know that. Okay. You, you're a revolutionary. Okay, so they love that about you. They love the warrior in you. And they're not able to have their way with you is what this is saying. And they're upset because they don't want to drop the connection. They don't want to lose you. All right, I feel like they're in the process of losing you or they might have lost you already. They are regretful. But again, this person needs to change their behavior, their attitude, major attitude problem that they have. They need to stop pointing the finger at you, like I've been saying every day, because they always want to say that you have the attitude problem and that you are the one that start things. No, how about they finally grow up and understand that they took part and why you feel the way that you do in the recent past towards them. This is somebody that still wants to be around you, that still wants to be with you, that still wants to connect with you, but they feel like it's difficult to do so and they're frustrated because of that. That's what this is saying to me. Tell me more. Tell me more about this nine of wands person, this grouchy person right here. This grump. Somebody's a grump. Uh, yeah. Four of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. They probably with a Capricorn. All right. And they mad while they over there. Like, who told them to do that, though? <laughs> yeah. We know it's boring. Something is boring for this person. And they know it. And I don't care what they say. Energy readers, we can feel it. We know. We understand. All right. We are locked in with these cards. So I just feel that they're seeing you slip away or you have another option and they know it. You have more than one person that's in your DM. They know it. They can try to have other people. They can try to replace you. They can try to date whomever they want, right? They can marry whoever they want. They are understanding that whomever it is that they get with they just not you. They're not you. And it's frustrating to them. I feel like you are what they really want, but they view you as challenging and difficult to be with or to be around. Oh, well. <laughs> right? Oh, well. Like, they need to change their perspective. Or if they don't want to, Taurus is not waiting. We don't have time to wait. I feel like you are slipping away from somebody and they know it. 
Tell me more. Tell me more. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You also have Gemini and Capricorn showing up here. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Seven of Swords. You know you can't trust them. You already know that. And why can't Taurus trust this person? Seven of Swords. Why can't Taurus do this? Why? Tell me more. Because there's like another connection and you know that. They're dealing with somebody else. That's what the problem has always been with this person. I don't think that this person can be in a relationship. Honestly speaking, I don't know why they try to act like they can be in a relationship. I don't feel that. This is somebody that switches up too much. You know, this is someone that is playing musical chairs with their body. Let's put it like that in a negative way. You know, it's like sharing their privacy with everyone. It's nasty. It is. And you could be turned off by that. You could. Like, they are not discreet. They claim to be discreet. But I don't feel like their private parts are discreet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody knows about this is what this is giving and that's so low vibrational i don't think you're feeling that i don't think you're feeling somebody who's just playing hopscotch with their dick or their pussy like this is ridiculous and that's why you feel like you can't trust this person you know tell me more Tell me more about the recent past here. Page of Swords. They're not going to stop watching, Taurus. And I don't know why they're so obsessed with you or what is going on here. You got somebody that loves the way you do it or loves the way you do something because they don't want to stop watching. They don't want to stop looking. But yet, I feel like... They're upset about something still. And it's just so corny at this point. At this point, it's corny because it's like you're watching, you're upset, but you ain't doing shit about it. So what am I? Your reality show? Am I your fucking new Netflix series? Like, I don't understand why this person watches so much unless they're trying to learn from you. Is this person trying to be like you what's going on here because you got somebody that watches obviously they're into something that you have going on here with the lovers but they still got an attitude problem about something Taurus don't got time for that you know all you're doing is stating the facts they keep running away from the facts one day they'll grow up one day I guess but you're not going to wait for that. You're not. Talk to me about the present. Communication. What is this communication? They want to tell you how they feel. And they feel like you're being very harsh. You're not being harsh. Since when have they been this sensitive? You tell me. Have they always been like this? Because they were trying to act like they didn't care. But now they're sensitive. And now they want to tell you that they regret it. And they don't want to lose you. And that you're important. Okay, so if they truly mean that, how about... They start being honest about how they really feel and what's really going on. You know, I do feel like they love you, but, you know, some people, they're just not ready for a relationship right now. 
I feel like this person makes pretend that they're ready to be in a relationship, okay? And they are promiscuous. I don't know why they're lying to themselves, right? We were talking about this yesterday. Why does this person make pretend that they can be faithful when they're always getting caught on their phone doing something that they shouldn't be doing? They're not ready. And I don't care if they're married. This person is still not ready to be with anybody because they're constantly looking for something else and someone else. So then be single, be single then, but they don't want to be honest. And then some people don't know how to be alone. And that's a problem, right? In order to bring someone else into your life, you have to feel good being by yourself first, right? Because anything can happen. You don't want to be codependent either. Anything could happen at any moment and you always have to be prepared to survive on your own. This person right here, they're making pretend. They're trying to act like they can do this, that I can be this way, that I can. No, they can't because they're always doing something they shouldn't be doing behind someone's back. And some of you have already caught this person. So it's time for them to be realistic with themselves but since they want to paint a picture for everybody else because i feel like this is what that is about they need to put up this front for everybody else and i feel like they're not even doing this for themselves they're doing it for other people they want other people to see them a certain way because they just don't know how to be true to themselves like this is so crazy this is really crazy. And they will tell you that you are important. They're going to tell you, yes, you're important. You mean everything to me. I have feelings for you. But I don't see them as somebody that can be monogamous. That's just what I'm getting here. I do feel like they have feelings for you and that you are important. But I still feel like they're in different accounts and they're doing things they shouldn't be doing. Tell me more. Talk to me about the future. The Nine of Pentacles. Tell me more. The Eight of Swords. I feel like you are really just cutting this whole thing out of your life. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. The Knight of Pentacles to the Ace of Swords to the Four of Wands. It's like you're done with dealing with that is what this is saying. And you have to keep speaking up. That's what this is saying. With the Ace of Swords as well, keep speaking up about how you feel when it comes to a particular energy or what they are up to, they need to hear it. They need to hear it, okay? You have a strong spiritual tie to this person. They know that. And if you're in a mood, they feel your mood without you even speaking to them, without them even seeing you. They can tell what your vibe is. So keep putting that vibe out. If you're not feeling it, you don't have to say it to them. You don't have to see them to tell them. Just take note of your vibe. Okay, because all of that energy has power. And like I told you before, I feel like you're getting to them. You are getting to them. Trust me. Without words spoken. So with that Ace of Swords, you must continue to feel the way that you feel when it comes to this situation and stand on business and keep those boundaries where they are because you have reasons to be the way that you are at this moment. It's like you had no choice but to be this way towards them. If you don't do it, who's going to do it? Because they're running around walking all over 
other people. That's not you, and they know it. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus, to book a private session. All of that info is below. Take care.